What's up? Welcome to an episode of Let's Talk Singing, Acting and Dancing. There's probably something that you don't know that we're going to be coming away from this channel soon, but I haven't started that yet. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about, um, not any updates, because I literally just did that. Today we're going to be talking about Star Wars The Last Jedi. I feel like we should go back to that once again. And then, also we are going to be talking about Thor Wagner off. And we're going to do like a bit of a review here, because I haven't released it to Alice 15 yet, and that review sucks, it does. So yeah, those are the main two things that I feel like we're going to tackle today. Intro. <laughs> So one of the things about The Last Jedi I want to talk about is that first, I cannot wait. The film comes out uh, December 14th, it does. I know there's multiple days, either December 13th, 14th or 15th. I, I've seen the trailer and it's just December 14th and so if I'm wrong, if you're in a different country, I live in the UK. So, um, so what's The Last Jedi? Everyone's been hyped about it, even though there's been some New, no much news of like, oh, is Obi Wan Kenobi going to return? Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, any of those people, are they going to return? Or references, or is it going to be something like The Force Awakens? Well, please know, when Ian McGregor got offered a chance to be in that film into a voice, which I swear to God, it was fantastic hearing him again, that was all last minute. That was kind of like about two weeks or three weeks before the film got released. So if that was going to happen again, just think about that if any surprise appearances were going to happen, you would not know about it until you saw the film. And then secondly, that some fear, some cinemas are refusing to play this film. Now this is the first time I've actually heard of a cinemas doing this. Why? Well, because from the success of the last Star Wars film, not Rogue One, the one in 2015, because of so much success and money paid off, a large percentage Disney wants from the cinemas. And if cinemas decide to play um, the film and also obey the rules, then they are they have to do that. But what that means is that if they do that, then the cinema gets less of, a, of the percentage of that. They don't make that much money, including that, the popcorn, the drinks, all of that, and also your ticket fees, depending on where you are. And if they don't apply with the rules and just play it anyway, then, well, the advertising, all the things that usually would be easy for other films, it goes down, and the options are down. I'm not that much fussed about it because my cinema view will still be playing it. So, yeah. <laughs> now, Four Wagner. Four Wagner is a good film. It's uh, it's another good one in the Marvel universe. I would say this is kind of like my first full film I saw. I'm not going to spend too much time with it, but what I want to say is that it has Hulk, Loki. Doctor Strange and many characters in there, including the Firstborn, Odin is in there, and also the end credit scenes, there's a little teaser for Avengers Infinity War. Now, just for this video alone, I'm giving Full Wagon Wolf 10 out of 10. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll let you know about any updates on how this channel is going to be ending slowly. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.